Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. We are here in Casa del Power in Alicante. I would like to present to you my dad for the week. Through no fault of my own for the last 14 years, I've been missing a little bit of fatherly love and tender care, but Tony is after stepping in, cooking up a fry in the morning time. The minute I get out of bed, there's a monster in my hand. Should look at that. <laughs> When I arrived from the airport yesterday, I had five Aperol spritzes on tap. Service with a smile. Wasn't even waiting to finish one before I had another in my hand. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into this video. We're going to hit up a session later on, fueled by this fucking lovely fry cooked up by my dad for the week. And that's it. Let's just ignore the bruise on my neck, but myself. Bruise. Yes, I fell off a moped on holidays here in Alicante, and that's all that will be said on the matter. Onto your neck. Yes, I fell neck first from a moped in Alicante on my holidays. We are moving on to a taste test of Relentless. My first time tasting one of these. Let's see if it's going to overtake the monster. Initial smell is kind of that of a Red Bull, so I'm not overly confident with it, but let's just see. Yeah, it's Red Bull. It tastes the exact same as Red Bull. We are here outside, probably one of the most famous gyms or so I'm told in Spain. It's called All Stars Gym Training Center in Alicante. Heard a lot of good things about it. It gives like a bit of a real club padel vibe for those of you who've been to the gym in Marbella. Um, outdoor setting, nice weather. Can't wait for the session. Today is going to be the final day of the powerlifting split before I move into my max week next week. So to next week is only two days max bench, just trying to see how much I can do. Don't know if I'm going to go for 180 next week, but we'll see how the plan goes. We'll assume that for now that that's what I'm going to do. So top set today, 165, just for one repetition. So the thing about coming using different equipment in different gyms is things can feel a little bit more shaky or less steady because it's a different bar, it's a different sort of setup, different bench, all of that. So those can have a, have a role in terms of you not being as strong as usual. That felt tough. I knew I was confident enough that I was always going to get it, but that moved a little bit slower than I could expect it to move on typical bench racks. On this particular session, there's only going to be a handful of sets. So it's about four sets, three, four sets total. First one was one rep of 165. Second exercise or second set is going to be 147 and a half again for one repetition. When it comes to my back offsets, and my back offsets are when I go from the top weight that I'm doing on that particular exercise to like dropping it, let's say 20 kilos or so. I try to move it as forcefully as possible, knowing that it's a good bit below my one rep repetition maximum, that if I was to do like fucking five to 10 repetitions, I could easily do them. So I just try to be as powerful, as explosive as possible with that lighter weight, just to kind of, I suppose, increase my own confidence in my ability to handle that weight. Because if I can command 147 and a half kilos really firmly, really, really strongly, well then it's gonna give me greater confidence to have a go at 170 or in a week's time, 180. I've come to the conclusion that I don't think I could do powerlifting for longer than four weeks. So I'll finish out the current block, but even on this session, like I've deadlifts programmed and stuff. And as good as the program is, and as much thought has gone into it, it's just not for me. So I'm just coming over to pull up bar, getting a pump, on my back, on my biceps, gonna do a bit of legs and all that. So it's been a good experience, I've learned a lot. It's definitely beneficial if your sole goal is getting strength up, but just for someone like me, who just is a complete meathead who just wants to get a pump. It's just not something I'm gonna be able to do long-term. I got nothing left. So I'm well rested, well recovered, because I just spent the last hour in the boiling heat in the back of Sean's car on a business mentorship call. We're gonna come back in, hit up some legs, hamstrings, we're gonna leave it at that. Completely off plan. Um, that's just the nature of training on holidays. Get in and get something done. Today's quad exercise of choice, a pendulum squat. Just about. Just about. 
three sets. It's kind of all you need when you think about it. So what the fuck am I coming in doing nine? Something like I've done here is a perfect example of what would be a very effective full body workout for someone on holidays. Now, I have taken like three hours because an hour of that was blocked off for a call. You've got a bench press, you've got a pull up, you've got a leg curl, you've got a squat. That's essentially all major muscle groups that are hit. It's gonna be enough to keep them going if you're away for a week. Do that once or twice a week, you'll be sorted. Fuck that cheese. So that is the session in All Stars Gym in Alicante. Well worth the visit. I wasn't paid to come here. I paid a full 10 euros, just full disclosure. Really clean gym. Probably a better version of Padel at this point in time. Did I enjoy the session? No, because it was interrupted for an hour in between, so the pump went a little bit flat. Got the basics done. I'm like everyone else. People think that I'm just this fucking absolute meathead who eats and breathes the gym and wants to spend three hours in the gym every single day of my life. The reality is, if I could just do the bare fucking minimum to maintain the size that I have now, I probably would take up that offer. But without further ado, we're gonna get out of this joint. Sean's been here long enough and he's getting pretty damn ratty behind the camera and for good reason. The man behind the Aperol spritz is on tap. I haven't even finished one and I have a second one in my hand. This is the lovely Tony Power. Is this representative of what you've experienced and what I haven't experienced over the last 14 years? Yeah, you're missing out massively because you don't have a dad. I hope this makes you feel really bad for missing out all these years. I feel terrible. So we are currently down at the lovely lakes of Turamendo. Blue turquoise water. It's quite nice actually. Not as nice as my yellow smiley bucket hat though I might add. After a lovely day of heading to the lakes, I come home and a fresh Aperol spritz, probably the best one yet, with crushed ice, orange zest pieces in it. I, I just don't see how it gets much better than this. Jesus, would you look at that? You'd be dragging me up the stairs after this. It's a spring roll with a Mars bar cooked inside. Bit of a strange phenomenon, but I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely stupendous. The dessert itself, I love the concept of it. The ice cream. It's very nice, it's, it's quite nice. It's, it's nicely tinged. I'm just not sure I'm a fan of, you can see the red sauce, the raspberry sauce here. So it's thrown off the flavor because you've got some grapes, you've got some vanilla ice cream, you've got some Mars bar and chocolate. Out of 10, I'm going to say, it's gotta be a 7.2. Out of 10? It would be a 10. But for the fact that I had to wait about three hours for it to come out, we'll say an eight and a half. I steal it and put it on the app. Good morning. Surprise, surprise. Myself and Small Sean are off to the gym again. Number one, because I have nothing else to do. Number two, he has nothing else to do for the week other than to occupy what I have to do for the week, seeing as I'm a guest of honor in the power household. Isn't that right, Sean? Guest of honor would be a very exaggerated term, I think. Okay, well, we, well we, we agree on the term guest, so we're starting it off as you start off every day, and that is a can of monster. It's currently 8 a.m., got to get in for another session, might do a little bit of conditioning at the end of it, if I'm lucky, if we have time. The first item on the agenda for today's session is going to be a max rep of 60 kilo flat dumbbell bench press. I think that matches my all-time PB, which was 11. Sickened that I couldn't get the 12, but look, it's not too bad, especially for someone. Actually, at the time I got 11 reps, I was probably about 10 kilos heavier, so that's a relative body weight PB. I think if there was an award for the most unesthetically loaded bar of all time, this is surely in contention. Come around the other side, Sean. So you just got plates all over the shop, all shapes and sizes. Got to shock the muscle from time to time. little bit unsure what it got into me there that's good mornings 80 kilos 15 repetitions that was by far and away 
the most I've ever done. So maybe there is something to be said for loading it completely awkwardly, left hand side, right hand side, different plates all over the shop. Maybe it is the secret the PTs don't want you to know. <laughs> Shine, gonna wrap up the video here. If I happen, if I happen to pass away from a heart attack, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you tune in to the next one. Take care.